Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Chicago Bears versus Baltimore Ravens Week 6 matchup based on analytics. Each week, I collect all of the current 2017 NFL team data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. Uh, and since it's a weekly collection, it will always be very fluid uh, in terms of keeping track of various team trends. But there will always be little nuggets of data that could become bigger nuggets of data as the season continues. So stick around as I analyze each week's matchups based on analytics. And if you're new to the channel, all terms and definitions will be in the description if there's anything that you're not uh, familiar with or that I don't explain properly in the video. Uh, so starting with this matchup, so we're looking at the NFL stat basic comparisons. Uh, and basic comparisons for the Bears, uh, for the Ravens versus the Bears is simply you know how the offense is performing how is the defense performing relative to the rest of the nfl um, how's the special teams performing and based on this data uh, the majority of the data favors uh, the ravens in this particular matchup and let me kind of explain why uh, so when you start off with the big disparity like the biggest thing that separates the ravens from the bears is the ravens defense uh, the total D score, which is basically the ability of the defense to prevent first downs on defense, is about 87.50 for the Ravens versus the Bears, who only have a 9.38 out of 100. Uh, offensively speaking, both these offenses are very similar. I do understand the Mitchell Trubisky effect. I mean, that's the one thing that you would have to be somewhat concerned about because most of the data you're seeing right here is based on an offense that has Mike Glennon in it for the most part. However, you can't discount the fact that the Ravens or the Bears have really had that great of offense. So even if the Bears offense improves a good amount, uh, you still have that advantage the Ravens have with their defense. Their defense is just significantly better uh, than the Ravens defense, uh, which, you know, based on data. Uh, and then, of course, you look at other sort of areas. So when you look at turnover ratio... Uh, the, surprisingly, the Ravens haven't really had as many turnovers compared to the Bears, but both these teams turn the football over way too much. Uh, you look at the sack ratio, the Ravens give up more sacks than the Bears. Offensive score percentage, uh, which basically is the ability to score on every single drive, is more so in favor of the Ravens. Ravens typically score on more drives than the Bears. Uh, then, of course, you look at defensive score percentage, which is the ability to prevent points on each drive. That's more so with the Ravens. The Ravens have the advantage when it comes to creating turnovers on defense, uh, whereas the Bears have the advantage when it comes to creating sacks on defense. Interceptions is also mostly with the Ravens versus the Bears, who are pretty much bottom of the NFL when it comes to creating sacks on defense. When you get into special teams, uh, punt return yardage, pretty even between the two, but the, but the Ravens have much higher kick return yardage. So, the Ravens pretty much are averaging a lot more when it comes to kick returns versus the Bears. Uh, when you look at uh, defending, so this is basically defense preventing punt returns, defense preventing kick returns. Ravens overwhelmingly are favored in those particular aspects of special teams. Uh, field goal percentage is a little bit higher with the Ravens, but both these teams don't really have that great uh, a field goal percentage. Uh, and extra point percentage is more so with the Ravens. And punting averages more so with the Bears. So when it comes to special teams, the Ravens pretty much have advantages across the board pr with pretty much everything except for punting average. Um, and uh, But scoring on special teams is really on the side of the Ravens as well. So overwhelmingly, the data uh, pretty much favors uh, the Ravens. Um, there is advantages for the Bears if they can create turnovers because this the Ravens are a team that gives up sacks the ravens are a team that gives up turnovers so you will have some advantages to take care uh, uh take advantage of some of those sort of aspects but overwhelmingly the ravens are just favored because of all those different advantages overall uh, and then of course you look at some other sort of data points looking at completion percentage i won't get too much into this uh, but this is the bears offense versus the ravens defense when it comes to completion percentage you can go back to the bears my other Bears videos to kind of compare this. So I won't talk too much on this because we really don't have an idea of, of what Mitch Trubisky is yet. But this is so far what the differences have been in terms of completion percentage. We look at the Ravens offense versus the Bears defense. Uh, the Ravens overwhelmingly are good when it comes to second down completion percentage, but not so much when it comes to first down and third down completion percentage. 
uh, overall. Uh, but the Bears defense is not really that amazing except when it comes to first downs. Then when we look at rushing downs, so this is basically first down conversion rate with the run. So the ability to create first downs with the run in various downs and, and distances uh, and situations. And uh, when it comes to this particular metric, the Bears offense overwhelming, overwhelmingly is favored uh, against the Ravens defense. The Ravens defense just do not have that great of a rushing defense from this kind of perspective. And I, again, this is not about yardage. This is about preventing first downs. Uh, and, the, and the Bears are much better at preventing first downs. Uh, compared uh, to, uh, well, the Bears are better at creating first downs with the run versus the Ravens who are not very good when it comes to preventing first downs with the run. So the Bears will have lots of advantages when it comes to rushing the football uh, in terms of this matchup. Uh, then, of course, when you look at the Ravens uh, rushing offense versus the Bears rushing defense, uh, pretty evenly matched. Uh, the, the Ravens will have advantages uh, on third down. But second down, it's pretty much even between the two. And first down, pretty much Bears. So I would say this is a pretty even matchup in, in terms of uh, the Bears uh, rushing defense and the Ravens rushing offense. And then, of course, you get to passing down. So it's the ability to create first downs with the pass. Bears versus the Ravens. Uh, in terms of this particular matchup, I'm not going to speak too much on this because we really don't know much about uh, Mitch Mitchell Trubisky yet. But you can definitely compare this to what it was last week to see if there's any improvements or not uh, in terms of the Bears uh, offense uh, from uh, last week to this week. Uh, and then, of course, when you look at the uh, Ravens offense versus Bears defense when it comes to passing, uh, pretty much uh, advantages for the Ravens. However, there's a major advantage when it comes to first down situations. The Bears defense performs the best at preventing um, first downs on first down. But everywhere else, they just are lackluster. And when it comes to preventing first downs on third down, they just kind of give up. I don't know what else to say because they just allow it to happen uh, in terms of third downs. Uh, and then, of course, we look at sack rate. So this is where the sacks are coming on offense and also how defenses are creating sacks. Like what downs and distances are the defenses creating most of their sacks. Uh, and when it comes to this particular matchup, the Bears actually have advantages. Uh, in terms of this particular area, the only advantage that the Ravens will have is on first down, but it's pretty even uh, for the most part in terms of first down situations. But overwhelmingly, the Bears are better at preventing sacks versus the Ravens in terms of creating sacks. Uh, then, of course, if you look at the Ravens offense versus the Bears defense in terms of various downs and distances, uh, overwhelmingly uh, first and second down. Uh, in fact, the Ravens have been the, the best offensive line in the NFL uh, at least when it comes to preventing sacks on second in second down situations uh, overall. Uh, but most of the sacks come on the Ravens in third down situations, which is also where most of the Bears sacks come is in third down situations. So this is going to be a clear matchup to watch and see what happens because of that big disparity there uh, when it comes to sacks. Then, of course, when you look at the uh, Bears offense versus the Ravens defense, uh, when it comes to interception ratio, so this is basically where most of the interceptions are going, I'm not going to spend too much time on this just because Mr. Trubisky is such a new quarterback. But you can definitely uh, compare last week's numbers uh, to this week's numbers if you wanted to see how they're evolving a bit when it comes to this particular metric. And then we'll finish up with the Ravens uh, versus the Bears in terms of the offense versus the defense. The Bears have not created an interception this year on defense. Pretty sure. I mean, I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure they have not created an interception yet. Uh, in terms of their defense. So even though the Ravens give up a lot of interceptions relative, you know, they're below average when it comes to giving up interceptions on first down. They're, they're very below average when it comes to giving up interceptions on third down. Uh, this Bears defense just doesn't really create a lot of interceptions, um, if any at all, uh, so far this year. So um, this is definitely a concern. Uh, this is definitely something that needs to improve because of how poor those particular uh, stats are. Uh, so those are the major concerns of the, in terms of this matchup. So Overall, how do I feel about this matchup? Well, I, I don't feel very good about it, uh, it for the Ravens, only because the Ravens are the Ravens. Like, the offense is not exactly that great. You have a rookie quarterback, and we've seen what rookie quarterbacks can do. Uh, you know, like with Deshaun Watson, for example, uh, where, you know, a couple weeks, it's kind of meh, and then they just go off like crazy. Um, and I'm not saying that that's going to be the case for Trubisky 100%. Uh, because, you know, you're dealing with a different situation. The Bears offense is obviously different than the Houston Texans offense. Uh, and there's, you know, there's all different types of variables to consider. 
But what I can say is, is I, I do feel somewhat comfortable with a Ravens win, but I do recognize a lot of the unknowns because Trubisky is such a new quarterback coming into the data. So that will definitely throw stuff off because we don't really have a clear picture on how good Trubisky is relative to how Mike Lennon was performing or if Mitchell Trubisky is worse than Mike Lennon. I mean, we don't know any of these things yet, 100%. Uh, pro we probably won't know until about week 10, week 11, to be honest, you know, once we have a big enough sample size uh, to see what the actual differences are. Uh, but so far, this is just my feelings in this. So, again, I feel like it'll be a Ravens victory, but uh, I don't feel that good about it just because of the unknowns with the uh, rookie quarterback. And, of course, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well if anybody that you know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.